Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the megalithic temples of Malta in Malta. So this World Heritage Site is a collection of seven ancient temples across Malta and its sister island of Gozo. Now these temples are some of the oldest structures on Earth. The oldest date from 3600 BC and they're older than the pyramids and Stonehenge. The one behind me is known as Gigantia and it's the largest and oldest of the lot. Let's have a look. Now the temple has really unusual design because it's a cloverleaf with five rooms coming off a central corridor. And although we see them today as very rough stones, they were actually originally plastered. There's traces of plaster and paint on each side. Now what I find incredible as well is that these temples are so old, they predate both the wheel and metal tools in Malta. Now it's actually really fascinating here because there's two temples side by side. They face directly into the sunrise of the equinox and of course looking across a valley as well at a Bronze Age settlement. Now we don't really know what they were used for but archaeologists suspect that because of the number of animal bones and ashes found that it was probably where animals were sacrificed in fertility rituals. It was definitely not somewhere that humans were buried as no human bones have been found here. So this is the temple of Hajar Im on the main island of Malta down on the southern coast and it's in a really pretty spot as well just above the water. Now you might be wondering why they're called megalithic temples and well mega means large, lithic refers to stone and this is the largest of them all. This one stone is over 20 tons and there's another upright monolith just over here that's more than 5 meters high. Now this temple has a similar purpose to the Gigantia temples that we saw this morning. They're for religious rituals, but killing of animals, not people. So this is the South Temple at Imnadra, the youngest and best preserved temple of the ones we're going to look at. And it's just a few hundred meters down the hill from Haga Im. But what I find fascinating is that although the exterior is a really hard type of limestone, inside the temple it's a much softer limestone which allowed for decoration like what you can see behind me. It's all full of uh, pitted marks to make patterns. Well, I've really enjoyed checking out the temples here in Malta and Gozo. It's been a really fascinating day and these are some of the oldest structures on earth and it's been a lot of fun to just sort of look at them and ponder about what life must have been like back in that era. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.